Hello and welcome to this video demonstration of how to correctly fit the 3M respirators with adjustable straps. In this video, Alan will demonstrate how to fit the 8835 respirator. The procedure also covers the 8825, 9925 and 9928 respirator models. Prior to fitting your respirator, make sure that your face is clean shaven. These respirators should not be worn with facial hair under the area of the face seal. Make sure that long hair is tied back and jewellery is removed so that it does not interfere with the seal to the face. Before fitting the device, ensure your hands are clean. Remove the respirator from its box. All respirator components should be inspected for damage prior to each use. Thread the top and bottom straps through their respective buckles. Ensure that they remain untwisted. With one hand, cup the respirator under your chin with the nose piece facing upwards. Take both straps in your other hand. Place the respirator onto your face, then pull the straps over your head. Locate the upper strap across the crown of your head and the lower strap below the ears. Ensure the straps are not twisted. Tighten the straps to secure the respirator. It should feel snug against your face but take care not to over tighten. To increase the tension, pull evenly on both ends of the top and bottom straps. To decrease the tension without removing the respirator, push out on the back of the buckles. Using the fingers of both hands, mold the nose clip to the shape of the nose to ensure a close fit and good seal. Start at the top, pushing down into the nose as you work along the length of the nose clip towards your face. Apply a firm pressure to ensure a good seal. Avoid starting at the bottom and working towards the top or only pushing into the sides of your nose, which may create a leak path at the top. Pinching the nose clip using only one hand may result in less effective respirator performance. The seal of the respirator on the face should be fit checked before entering the workplace. A fit check is performed by covering the front of the respirator with both hands, being careful not to disturb its fit. Then inhale sharply you should feel the respirator collapse slightly onto your face. If it does not, and you detect air leaks at the seal, adjust the fit, taking extra care with the nose clip, then repeat the check. If you cannot achieve a proper fit, inform your supervisor and do not enter the hazardous area. If the 8825, 8835 or 9928 respirators are to be reused the following day, the face seal gasket must be cleaned at the end of each shift. The respirator must be dried at room temperature and stored in a clean, airtight container. The performance of your respirator relies on an adequate seal between the respirator and your face to ensure contaminated air does not leak in. The method of measuring whether or not you have an adequate seal is to pass a face fit test. Fit testing should not be confused with a pre-use fit check, which should be conducted every time you use your respirator. For more information on fit testing, please visit www. 3m.co.uk forward slash fit test respirator. Thank you for taking the time to watch this demonstration video. For further information, please visit www.3m.co.uk forward slash safety or call our UK and Ireland helpline numbers.